This is the story of Lake Biwa management. What have we learned from the story of Lake Biwa? Among other things, we learned that the lake has been supporting the livelihoods of people in Shiga, as well as in the downstream regions. That there have been various man-nature interactions regarding the resource values of Lake Biwa and its basin. And that its land-water systems have undergone significant transformations during the process. Having unexpectedly experienced red tide incidents in the late 1970s and the early 80s, it became very clear to the Basin people that they would never see a blue and transparent Lake Biwa unless its water environment was drastically improved. Thus began the dawn of Lake Biwa water environment management. Being blamed for the lax efforts until then that had led to the red tide incidents, the Shiga government decided to launch an all-out effort to strengthen the capacity in two key areas of water environment management. Namely, much more stringent regulatory enforcement regarding polluting industries and acceleration of sewerage service provisions to the municipal populations. Very fortunately, two pieces of national legislation enacted in the 1970s helped the Shiga government meet what seemed to be an insurmountable challenge to reverse the degrading trend of the Lake Biwa water environment. They are the Lake Law and the LBCDP Law, in short. The Lake Law deals only with Lake Biwa water quality improvement, while the LBCDP Law deals with infrastructure development in the Lake Biwa Yodo River Basin, including construction of the Lake Biwa Regional Sewerage System. The Lake Law was designed to help the government reduce eutrophication-related pollution, in harmony with a variety of other legislation on pollution control efforts. The Lake Law requires the government to implement a five-year cyclic plan for lake water quality conservation. The first five-year Lake Biwa plan was for the 1986 to 1990 period, while the current plan is the seventh being meant for the 2016-2020 period. The LBCDP law was enacted to realize water resources development and flood and drought control for both the upstream Shiga and the downstream Osaka regions. It was inaugurated in 1972 and completed in 1997, with special financial arrangements involving the national government and the downstream government. Specifically, it included the construction of Lake Biwa Regional Sewerage System. Although taking decades to complete, the Lake Biwa Regional Sewerage System has significantly reduced the eutrophication of Lake Biwa. However, some LBCDP construction works adversely affected the ecosystem of Lake Biwa. As an example, the lakeshore was transformed from a natural shoreline to an artificial one, leading to the loss of sound ecosystems. The return flows of the LBCDP irrigation projects also began to contaminate the lake water with silt and agricultural chemicals. Other adverse impacts included frequent occurrences of blue-green algal blooms, degradation of lake bottom sediments, and an explosive growth of submerged water weeds. During the 30-year period from 1970 to 2000, the overall lake water quality gradually improved because of the various environmental policy measures and the sewerage system constructed in the Lake Biwa Comprehensive Development Project. In the meantime, however, the scale of ecosystem degradation was far greater than expected, resulting in people wondering exactly what went wrong and how such a trend may be reversed in the future opening the door of the era of lake water environment management beyond 2000. A new plan, called the Lake Biwa Comprehensive Conservation Project, LBCCP, was inaugurated in 1999. It only involves Shiga Prefecture and not the downstream government. The plan, provisionally set at a 50-year time horizon, is aimed at restoration of Lake Biwa ecosystem health. The key feature of the LBCCP is the transformation of societal value systems, particularly of a socioeconomic and cultural nature. 
It has many commonalities with the concept of ILBM, wherein the planning gear, signifying the government-led planning implementation of policies and programs, has to be soundly matched with the governance gear, the broad initiatives and engagements by society at large in the basin and beyond for many decades into the future. Exemplified by the ILBM framework, the new scheme of LBCCP will hopefully provide a means of facilitating the ability of both humans and nature to thrive productively over the long term.